Hi, I'm Katie Ziskin, the owner of Wisdom Within Counseling and Coaching. You can learn more about intimacy sessions, building a meaningful sex life, and improving sexual pleasure by booking a free phone consultation at wisdomwithinct.com. This video for my sex intimacy course is all about squirting and the female orgasmic system. So you might hear my puppy a little bit in the background, um, just as a heads up, but um, females have this amazing ability to have multiple orgasms. Um, their refractory period, once they have one orgasm, is much shorter and there can be a lot of pleasure for multiple orgasms. Um, when we look at squirting, squirting is not a check marker of success. It's not a check marker of a female having an orgasm, but squirting is a result of a female feeling emotionally safe, feeling um, excited, feeling desired, um, being able to express her self sexual side, and also um, G-spot stimulation. So um, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about squirting and um, what that looks like. So the first thing to know is that there should be no pressure for a female to squirt in order to squirt. So if her partner is saying, you know, I want to make you squirt, this can actually make her almost not squirt. Um, there can be too much pressure. There can be anxiety about performance. Um, squirting should never be a, a goal. It should never be um, something that has to happen every time. Um, removing some pressure and alleviating anxiety around squirting can even make it more possible. Um, a lot of times um, when a partner is educated solely from pornography, which we know is not proper sexual health education, um, they get this concept that uh, squirting equates to female pleasure. And it's not true. A female can have amazing, pleasurable sexual experiences without squirting. Um, and um, there's just some important things. If you do want to play with squirting in your relationship or with yourself, um, these are some things to keep in mind. So um, anxiety as a whole can prevent females from exploring their bodies, experiencing pleasure and receiving. And um, squirting means that a amount of liquid, whether a small amount could be a tablespoon of liquid, or it could be like two cups of liquid, can really be different person to person, day to day. Um, but is going to come out of the body. So if a female has anxiety that they're going to ruin the couch or ruin the bed, that can also prevent squirting because there's a release that has to happen. And anxiety we know, um, you know, is tightening those pelvic floor muscles is kind of a holding, a contraction. So um, get a waterproof blanket or towel, um, have, you know, some some type of preparation for the space. So you can buy a waterproof blanket or towel on Amazon and that can be a nice way to prepare the foundation so a female can truly let go. Um, another thing to note is that in order to squirt, a female needs to be incredibly turned on. So we're looking at building desire, we're looking at increasing foreplay. A lot of times um, partners are not educated on the adequate length of foreplay for the female pleasure system. So females need a minimum of 45 to 90 minutes of foreplay and the longer the foreplay, even it can be longer than that, will promote um, desire, feeling turned on, kind of this, this headspace of being wanted, of being sexual, of receiving. And that, that actually is really important for squirting. So if foreplay is too short, if foreplay is five minutes, if foreplay is like super, super short, um, a female partner will not be able to squirt. So there has to be this kind of carefreeness, this adventure, this kind of playful mindset that a female can get into and foreplay does that. Um, and foreplay can include like mental foreplay as like the buildup as well as physical sexual stimulation as foreplay. So I think that's important to note that um, foreplay can even begin before you see each other physically. Um, and then we look at uh, female G-spot stimulation. So whether this is with a toy or with, you know, a penis um, or anything, uh, the female G-spot is only two to three inches inside the vagina area. So inside the vulva. Um, and many times people think, uh, or like a male partner might think that like a deep, deep penetration is what creates squirting. And more often than not, uh, this uh, education around the G-spot is really helpful because um, squirting can most often occur when just a about two to three inches of a male's penis is um, inserted or a toy, a dildo, is inserted into the female's 
um, vagina and that g-spot is stimulated and you know some studies even show that g-spot is kind of like on the front uh, wall of the vagina so kind of certain angles can stimulate that better um, uh, you can play around with different positions sometimes a female can squirt more if her partner is on the bottom and she can kind of angle her body um, to get that right stimulation. Sometimes there's also this G-spot clitoral and nipple stimulation all at the same time that can support squirting. Um, we also just kind of want to be uh, uh, very accepting of all different partners' bodies. So one thing that can prevent squirting um, is if a female's had a traumatic experience where her partner has criticized the smell of her vagina, criticized the smell of her body, um, maybe she squirted in the past and her partner accused her of peeing on her, him or her, you know, maybe um, a female partner was criticized in some way around this very natural expression of pleasure and was criticized for squirting in the past. And if that is the case, it can make squirting in the future um, something to avoid, something fearful. We don't want to have rejection from our partners. So we're just not going to do this thing. So, um, if your female partner shares with you like, Hey, like this has happened in the past and you know, I'm kind of insecure about it, you know, as a partner, like be super affirming, be like, yeah, I would love to have play around with this. I would love to get a little messy. You know, I don't mind any of this fluid on my body. Like I actually think it's so attractive when your body does this. Um, you know, maybe there's a smell sometimes a little bit with this fluid, you know, it's like, I love the smell of that. That's our smell, right? So like being super, super affirming around squirting, um, especially if your partner has had a history of kind of criticism when this has occurred, um, will be important for being able to squirt in the future. So when you and your partner or you yourself kind of play around with squirting, you know, the first thing really is to know that it doesn't have to happen, but it's like a byproduct and benefit of intense, amazing, secure pleasure. Um, and one thing too, to know is that, you know, uh, there's an element of mindfulness that you kind of have to develop inside of yourself to know, you know, where you are at in terms of your desire, where you're at kind of in terms of your body's pleasure. So mindfulness practices and self-pleasure can be really helpful when it comes to squirting. You know, oftentimes that, you know, the ability to know ourselves when we're with a partner um, comes from knowing, you know, ourselves in an individual environment, from self-pleasure, from masturbation. Um, so create a sexually safe environment, emotionally, physically, sexually, and, you know, have a good length of foreplay, you know, have fun. Most importantly, healthy sexual activities are all about having fun. You know, sometimes life gets serious, you know, and, you know, I work a lot with, you know, people who, let's say, stress stress around trying to get pregnant, right? Um, and are we infertile? Are we not? We're having sex. We're having sex to have a baby, right? Like there's an end goal in mind, right? So instead of that, you know, play with something like squirting, have fun, you know, be playful, be adventurous, um, take the focus off that end goal and on enjoying your partner's body and exploring each other and, you know, sexually expressing yourself and enjoying this amazing magic of your sexual, you know, self. So um, I hope that this video has been enjoyable, has been educational, and has been informative. And if you're looking for individual sessions regarding sex and intimacy, improving your marriage, overcoming stress and anxiety around sexual performance, or even wanting just a safe place to talk about orgasming, which we don't really have very many places like that in the world, um, and getting some sexual skills. Our team at Wisdom Within Counseling and Coaching would love to help you. So you can book your free phone consultation at wisdomwithinct.com. I'm Katie Ziskin, the owner of Wisdom Within Counseling and Coaching, and I hope you enjoyed this video all about female pleasure and squirting.